So what's up guys, today we're going to talk about rear headlights uh, called SBBR. So if you ever want to work in the German automobile industry and you know this term SBBR, automatically they'll listen to what you're talking about because this is the main term that you use to call a rear headlight. You don't just call it rear headlight, you call it SBBR. And what does SBBR mean? SBBR means Stand, Brems, Blink, Rückleuchte. Uh, which means uh, just the st like standard rear lights, um, the brake lights, the indicator light, and the reverse uh, light. So four lights in one. So it's not just one light bulb, it's a whole setup of light bulbs. So you don't call it rear light, it's actually called the SBBR. So we're just gonna jump right into Blender. So we're in Blender, this is what we're gonna create today. So the rear light, the SBBR. BBR. Uh, this shader will work in EV as well in cycles. It's quite simplified, so there's no rocket science involved in this tutorial, but still I thought a lot of people are wondering how it's done, or at least how the basics are done. So that's what we're going to talk about today. By now, you're also probably wondering what is this awesome looking environment? Uh, this environment is actually just an HDR in a half dome. So I set up a simple shader uh, right over here. You can add your HDR here and for light here so very very basic um, and if you want your own you can of course create your own but you can also hop over to blender market you can type in half dome i already have it here then after waiting a few seconds you're going to find this lonely one little asset so you can purchase this it's going to support my channel um, if you don't want to purchase it and make your own that's also totally fine i just thought i'll create it and whoever wants it can get it if you don't want it then don't get it simple as that um, so now we're just going to talk about the rear light. We're going to hop over to a clean scene where I haven't shaded it yet. So everything's shaded except the rear light. So we're just going to break it down first. A rear light consists of an outer glass. This outer glass is usually red. Then we've got another outer glass. This is usually clear. This is the rear light for driving backwards. Uh, behind that, we have refractive glass um, for the rear light, like going backwards, reverse light, it's going to be clear. And for the brake lights, it's basically the same, uh, but red glass. And behind the red glass, we've got chrome, which usually has a reflective kind of diamond shaped um, texture to it or normal texture. And then we've got the kind of the daytime lights, but in the rear. So just the normal rear lights. And we've got the main chrome base. And that's pretty much how every rear light is set up. Um, so you can probably recreate uh, this style on any rear light. So we're just going to start making the first material. So the first material we're going to call SBBR glass um, clear. I'm going to delete the principal shader because we're going to really work with a simple setup here. So first create a transparent shader and you're going to see this is not transparent. So in EV, we have to set it to alpha blend under the settings in the material tab. So now it's transparent. We're going to add a mix shader. We're going to add a glossy shader. We're going to turn roughness to zero on the glossy shader, hook it up. Now we need a factor, so we're going to use a type of Fresnel here. We're going to use the layer weight. We're going to use the color ramp to control the layer weight. Hook up facing, not Fresnel. We're going to hook up the color to the mix factor. And now we pretty much already got glass. If you hook this up the wrong way, it's going to look like this. This is not what we want. We want this. So later on, we can control the amount of reflectiveness in the Fresnel and the amount of reflectiveness or glossiness in the facing part of the Fresnel, I guess. So a lot of control. Uh, we're going to make this red since this is going to be our red outer main glass. We're going to hide it. Now we're going to work on the back part on the main base of the rear light. We're going to call it SBBR Chrome. We're going to, we could use the principal shader, but it's a bit of overkill. We're just going to use a glossy shader turn roughness to zero you can use a little bit of roughness here it depends we're going to add a little bit of roughness that's fine so now you see we've already got like this red looking rear light basically i'm probably going to turn this a little bit down so it's a bit of darker red okay now we're going to move on this is also the same glass as the red glass except it's not red so we can just copy it over after creating a material so sbbr glass clear 
delete the principal shader or actually delete everything, copy in the red glass, but we're not gonna leave it red. We're gonna take out the saturation, make it white. And as you can see, once again, we've got Chrome. So don't forget to go to alpha blend. Now we've got some nice glass. Later on, if we change this color ramp, we should probably actually group it. You always have to, um, so with control G, um, group it up. You always have to set it the same way because if we change the reflectiveness here, it's not gonna match the red glass, but this is both glass, so it always has to match up. So we're gonna delete this and add our, that's not our group, get our group copy and paste it over just like this. We call it SBBR glass. And if we go in with tab, we can now change the reflectiveness, but it goes over everything. So the clear glass is affected just as the red glass. So we just don't do things wrong. Otherwise the clear glass will reflect a bit different than the red glass, but we don't want that. Okay, so enough talking, uh, we're gonna move forward. Um, now we have the main refractive glass. Uh, I wouldn't re recommend that we're gonna use anything refractive in EV and cycles. You could use the glass shade or anything, but I'm gonna do the EV version. So we're not gonna use refractive glass, but still I think it's gonna look fine. So uh, basically same procedure, get our clear glass, go to the refractive glass, copy it in after making a material. So SBBR refractive clear maybe. Uh, delete everything, get our glass in here. Um, now, once again, you're starting to understand, make it clear. Now we will do the same here. We will call it uh, SBBR re refractive red, I guess. Delete everything, get it in here. We're gonna make this part red. This is our uh, rear light. Um, and why is it black? Once again, I almost forgot myself. Alpha blend all the way. Okay, we've got a basic rear light set up here. Now we're just gonna bring in a little bit more detail. So we've got these chrome parts. So here we could use the principle once again, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna add a glossy shader, turn roughness to zero. This would look fine, but we could go to textures.com and uh, this is the HDR I'm using, by the way. Uh, we can go to textures.com. I already downloaded it. So just get a normal map of, um, yeah, you can, yeah, just a reflector. <laughs> doesn't really matter exactly what normal map it is. I just got this one. So we're gonna create a normal map node. We're gonna create an image texture. We're gonna hook it up to the normal. We're gonna open it up in my downloads called reflector. Then we will set it to non-color detail since it's a normal map, that's very important. Now we could change the uh, tiling by using a mapping node and a texture coordinates node, hook it up. I guess we can use the UVs because I think this car has UVs, yes. We're gonna use a value node to control the tiling just like this, so we can make it a little bit smaller, just like this, so this looks okay. Um, now unhide everything, that's pretty much it. Um, one thing we could do here is on the refractive glass, add a little bit of like a milk or foggy glass, usually it's not this clear. Um, so hop over to our shader, we're gonna add another mix shader, add a diffuse shader. Uh, just like this and just mix it in by feeling. So I'm just making a little bit more milky wilky, just like this. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I hope I didn't forget anything, but looks pretty good to me. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you could uh, tweak the Fresnel now. So if you go into here, um, probably turn down this white a little bit because it's not very clear, maybe like this. And in the front part, we could bump it up a little bit like this. So we just got a little bit more reflection and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's it. Looks good to me. So if we go to the camera, we can start a render. I did a simple set setup with some depth of field, uh, just like this. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, I hope this video wasn't too long, but I want to do it like uncut in real time because a few people asked uh, to make a longer video. Other people say I should make shorter videos. So this is one of the longer videos. Uh, I hope you liked it and learned something. Um, and see you next, uh, probably actually uh, Sunday for the Halloween challenge. So goodbye. <laughs>